you do it, you do it today, or you also had some difficulties and, and stuff like that. So I said, yeah, it's true that uh, if I tell you how it happened for me, probably can be a good thing, you know, so that this can help you also to understand how you should do in during your path to improve your skills without stressing. Okay, so I tell you very honestly that at the beginning of my experience, I had a strong passion for car design. I had a good sense of proportions. You know, that's something that everybody always told me. Uh, there are some new people coming in. Hey, Mr. Long, ciao. And therefore, I had this kind of, uh, you know, this proportional thing in my blood, so sort of between quotes talent, but I, I used to sketch in side view because I, I did not have any capacity, any skills to do it in three quarter front, three quarter back, top view. It was too complicated for me. And that I was young, 16, 17 years old. So basically your age. And then uh, I started to force myself to do some, uh, some perspective. And because I was alone, we did not have internet, no YouTube, no Luciano or Berg, <laughs> Kaplan or other people that uh, were sketching for us, you know, online and stuff like that. So there was no all this, all the information you have. And I did not have access to special car design magazines like auto design or car styling because in south of Italy we did not have this you know in the shops where you go and buy where you go and buy a magazine therefore it, it was all by myself so I understood that with the markers if I would buy markers I could uh, put some colors on my shapes and therefore I bought some markers to do that and then I, I start seeing some illustrations uh, of Mark Strarenberger, who is a teacher or ex-teachers at the art center in, uh, in uh, USA, so my school. And uh, today we are good friends, but at that time I was a young kid. And I said, look at this Mark, how good he is in illustrating cars. So I was trying to copy him. You know, he was really my only reference. There are some comments. Uh, hey, Berk, ciao. <laughs> he just joined. Yeah, that's very nice. I was saying back that when I was young, 16, 17, I, I, we did not have people like you or like me teaching, you know, trying to, trying to teach a little bit car sketching in, uh, uh, online because we did not have internet. Therefore, Mark Stromberger was my only reference on Gente Potori. And then I was saying that Max Tranberg became my friend because I met him when I was in Art Center in California. Hey, Sharma, ciao, transportation designated route useless nowadays. Okay, good. So don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> All right. So basically, what did I do? I, I, what I did, what did I do? I just, uh, uh, start looking at his illustrations and I realized the way he was doing the perspective. So I tell you very honest, I would just take a transparent paper, I would put it on top and I would just try to trace and get that feeling of proportions, feeling of perspective. But I didn't understand yet how you put the wheels, uh, where the lines go to the vanishing points. I didn't know that. I was just... Um, how can I say, replying, you know, making a, uh, a copy of somebody else's work, trying to get the most I could out of that way of learning. And that helped me to fix that type of perspective, you know, that three-quarter front on the same line that Mark does really well. They used to do on his uh, illustrations. We are in the in the mid 80s, okay, 1983, 1984, so a long time ago. And then uh, I was doing those and those were small, small sketches. So that's what I used to do. But the big jump, I made it when I had this opportunity, sometimes I, I told you during my design talks, to go and visit Pinifarina to show them my, hi Summit, to show my sketches 
and have a feedback whether between quotes I had this talent or not to go in, to California or to Royal College because that was the big thing in the family. Should I should he go or, or should just stay and maybe do architecture or something else? So I had this opportunity, I went there and there I had for the first time a real designer. First, first of all, I was into Pinguin Farina Design Studio that in 1980s was uh, the best thing can happen to you, especially if you are a passionate of car design. And when I got into the entrance, you know, where is the reception desk and stuff, it was incredible. Believe me, it was incredible with all those concepts and stuff. Then I had uh, Aldo Bravarone, who was uh, the designer at that time of uh, the best Ferraris that were made at that time, that uh, taught me, saw my sketches, and then he said, look, I'm going to show you how I do. So for the first time, I had somebody that, uh, Ciao Ludovico. Mm. Ciao Ludovico, ciao Eshan, uh, and, and, and that was the good thing because I had a, a real design that was sketching with me and I was looking with the eyes like that, I, I couldn't believe it, it was so beautiful, i never seen this before and he was explained to me how I take a pencil, how I make a sketch, how I do a side view, how I proportion, how I put the wheels, he explained to me the three quarter front, three quarter back then he showed me how he applied the markers. So, you can imagine how I felt after all that day. I was uh, with them around two, three hours, okay? So, this thing was just incredible. And that's what I did. So, I, that day I really learned as much as I could. Hey, Quack Bao Tran, ciao, welcome back. <laughs> And uh, no, we're going to sketch cars uh, Tuesday. Tuesday we sketch cars. On, on Friday we talk about car design. Insights. So basically that was the really the, the click, the turning point for me. So I, when I went back home, I, I start sketching the way they showed me. Even if I was not able to do it correctly, of course. But I had finally someone that told me, you want to sketch cars? That's how you're supposed to start. And that was very important because it gave me the opportunity to put together a small portfolio for art center and uh, entry portfolio. My father and my mother had a good feedback from Pink Farina after that day. So I knew that I could go. I could, uh, I could take the, the plane and, and try my adventure in America. And that was the real start for me, sketching cars. When I got to Art Center, after I, I got um, admitted, then were my teachers. My teachers that taught me the same way I try to teach you. I mean, those that follow my online course, they know, you know, it's the same technique. I didn't invent anything. I just uh, reproduced when I sketch with lots of passion and care exactly my two best teachers I ever had, which they are, I can say it, no problem. Harry Bradley, the first one, I don't know if you know him, you can find on Google Harry Bradley, okay, Art Center, uh, California Pasadena teacher, and uh, Andy Ogden, who came from product design, but he was also a car designer at home, and then uh, since then, he has his own design studio, nice design agency, I think in Los Angeles or in Hollywood. And this guy was fantastic. Very young. Harry Bradley was uh, an experienced man with lots of years of experience. He did a lots of beautiful cars at Ford or GM uh, around the 70s, okay? Late 60s, 70s, expert of hot rods. Incredible guy that used, uh, that sketched upside down I mean it was incredible what he used to do with his pencil and with him we really learned what it means the fundamentals of the basics you know of car sketching and with Andy Ogden we were doing the same thing and he was really 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 good then another guy also very good was Albert Yu a Chinese uh, from, I think from Taiwan uh, teacher designer and uh, there were two brothers so he was teaching the other brother was a designer too 
uh, to sketch it. Uh, okay, good, good quack. And uh, and uh, so for me, with them, I learn how to move on, make corrections, really correct my mistakes, and sketch every day. Because there is one thing you have to know that the art center for every sketching class is not like. Uh, I have to say it, it's not like in Europe. It's something that uh, it's much, much harder. For example, what you have to do, every assignment is like, uh, bring 50 sketches next time. One week later, 50. And the teacher say, when you bring your 50 sketches, bring 50 good sketches, which means that you probably will have a lot of, a lot of other sketches done. And you cannot present them because they are not at the same level, at the right level. So this means basically that you have to work like hell. And that exercise in doing every day for hours until you prepare that assignment and you have 50 good sketches without fingerprints where the wheels are correct, where the perspective is correct, uh, maybe your design is not the best, but at least the fundamentals, you know, the fundamentals of car sketchings are right. That was the perfect gym to learn. And even if at the beginning you feel like uh, you are not really improving, and many times you feel frustrated, because that would happen to me. There is a frustration. Shit. You look at your colleagues and, and there are some of them that are better than you. And of course you want to say, oh, come on, what can I do to be better than that? Because there is this uh, good competition ongoing in school. All right. Well, in reality, you don't realize, but you are improving. And then after a couple of months, you realize that you are improving. Therefore, you get confidence. You get trust in yourself. You get uh, self, uh, how can I say? You get sure. You get better. You feel better. And therefore, uh, you improve. Because it's like a, a soccer team, you know. When it's 0-0, zero, zero, during the match, everybody's worried that they're going to lose. But as long as you make the first, uh, the first goal, then everything is easier. Because you prove yourself that you are able to, to mark that goal. And here's the same thing. So when I say to everybody, exercise, 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 it is exactly what you have to do. And that's exactly what I did. That was the only way for me really to improve. And then there is also another thing that happens when you do this repeatedly, you know, lots of times, many times. Uh, 50 sketches of which uh, sketch views? Every view, action. Sometimes uh, first assignment was three quarter front view, then was only top view, then three quarter back view, then a different point of perspective. So it was not, uh, but it was gradual, you know, increasing in difficulties every time. So that's how it was done, you know, the teaching. It's not that they teach you uh, the most complicated perspective and they force you to do that. No, it's step by step. So that uh, the more confidence you get, the easier it will be for you to move on and explore a new, more difficult perspective and sketching technique. Because uh, you don't have to forget it. While we were doing this, we were not only learning how to draw inside view in perspective and the pencil technique. We used chalk, markers, all that stuff, making good backgrounds, all the things that I try to teach on my online course, you know, that uh, I talk about when I teach, uh, when I'm Tuesday here live with you, ex showing to you how I do it. It all comes from there. All right. So I have to say that uh, for me, um, this was really the core moment, the, the best moment, uh, best period of my life as a student to, to learn, to exercise and to improve.
to get better. So today, what do I do? Because you have to know that if you don't keep exercising, even if you have done it for many years, it doesn't mean that you're going to keep that standard all the time. And if Beck is still with us, he might, he might tell you the same thing uh, that, I, that I just said. You have to keep on exercising. Therefore, even me, uh, my age today, after so many years, when I, when I sketch for you, when I do my online sketches, you can see on Instagram that I publish quite a lot of sketches during the week because I take advantage of the fact that I am that I have a student in front of me in video and with the excuse to show how he should do or how she should do the exercise that then little by little I get a <laughs> I fall in love with the sketch and therefore I, I tell myself okay come on Luciano let's let's make it better let's complete it let's put something really cool and, uh, and, and then I, um, I realized that I am scared. Hey, th thanks, Berg. Thanks. And I realized that I am sketching every day. Not with the same intensity I, would, I, I used to do when I was a student. It's not anymore necessary. But believe me, the fact that I take a marker and it does not bleed on the paper, it comes from there. It's not that because I, I am older, then my hands become wiser. No, 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 no. It's simply because the exercise. And there's also another thing I would like to, to add. And after, I, I, if you want, I let you your questions. Is that uh, by doing that, you must, feel an, you must feel a beautiful pleasure. You know, the good pleasure of making a nice sketch. For example, the sketch in black and white I published uh, two days ago, you know, those two side views, no, yesterday, of those two side views, okay? You know how many times I kept on modifying that during, I had uh, my student that, that was doing the same exercise. And then I told him, hey, look, look at this. I modify in the back. I think that the proportion looks better. And we were discussing both of us on my sketch and on his sketches, just to just to realize that you starting away then you have to have a moment of stepping back so that you can make a sort of a uh, critique okay you, you give yourself a feedback trying to be uh, not in love with the sketch or with the silhouette with the shape but just you you there and you make an analysis and then that analysis becomes very important because there you realize that something is missing. At the beginning, I didn't know that side view that uh, has a front that looks almost like a Porsche. And, and then I realized, I realized that 20 minutes later, the back part was just too skinny. So it was too stretched. It was not believable. But most of all, in the overall proportions, it was missing, you know, the beef in the back, you know, the good solid standing, of a, of a car when you make a sketch you want to make it that looks good on the ground with the wheels uh, the right size and everything so i lifted up the back and i added just the black lines nothing else and that black line with a new uh, center line a little bit higher in the back with this uh, idea of uh, a b c pillar much thicker it helped the whole thing. I get finally I got not a nice, uh, how can I say, a nice silhouette, okay, S inside view, but I had a direction. It, I added character, and that's the typical evolution you can do on a sketch, you know. So take your time. Nobody is asking you to make a five-minute sketch every single time you make an exercise. Sometimes you have to learn how to do that. Because if you learn how to do that, you can you can do quickies, you know. You can just uh, draw four, four or five lines, put two wheels, and then we can see that there is a beginning of an idea. That's, that's all right. But we don't pretend that you do that all the time. Sometimes it's nice for you to sit down, start your sketch, look at it, you know, look at... Uh, against the light from the back so you can see already if there are wrong things because those things will jump to your eyes right away.
if you look from the back, as I tell my students, check it backward against the light and tell me, you tell me what's wrong. Yeah, that's the first exercise to do. And I still do it. So basically, what do I do? I replicate, you know, still today, after almost 40 years, okay, the same steps that I learned in school, thanks to my teachers. And, uh, and, and uh, every time I, I start a side view in my head, I remember what in school my teacher told me, you know, when you put your wheels, remember you have the, the wheels on the other side, your side view is a perspective, it's one point perspective, it's not a side view simple and flat, that's stuff for its technical drawings, for engineers, and he's right, he was right, It's an incredible emotion when you do a side sketch that is a real one point perspective, and the other one, sometimes some of you do because they don't know, because you don't know yet, where you can see that uh, you make everything without shadows in perspective. It looks okay, but it's like a cartoon. So this is basically what I, how I started to learn how to sketch cars, how I do it still today. And that's basically the same technique I try to teach during my online courses or so when I am here live with you on every every Tuesday sketching with you. And if you saw uh, this Tuesday, past Tuesday, the first time I, I used uh, the digital you know, device, the, the iPad with the Procreate, you realize that I am using the same technique even with the digital pen on an iPad. So this is... Uh, exactly what I wanted to tell you today because uh, once you got the right uh, the right technique you know the right inputs the right uh, ABC to follow because that's sure you know that's sure you know that you can have trust in on that type of uh, step by step then it's enough that you just follow it you know you follow it, uh, you devote it to that, <laughs> you are, and that's discipline. You know, remember when I talk about discipline, be disciplinated. And I'm talking about that. To be disciplinated means that uh, you don't have to forget there are certain aspects of our way of being professionals that we respect like a cradle, you know, in our head. We don't forget, we don't say it, but we know that we are following it. And it's nothing, in, it's uh, really casual. All right? Hey, Beck, I don't know if you want to come, if you are still there, if you want to comment with, uh, with uh, adding some things that probably I did not say. Okay? Or if you want to write a few sentences about your, uh, your experience. But I remember Beck when he was uh, very young. He was very talented. And in fact, I, I took one of his... Uh, Beautiful illustration done with the Photoshop, if I don't remember right. It was a blue Volkswagen, step-by-step uh, -step, uh, sort of uh, illustration. And, uh, and I, I published on my, on my website, LucianoBove.com, saying, hey guys, look at this guy. This guy is doing the things that are very nice. And that was a step-by-step. -step. And the step-by-step -step is the same thing, you see? You don't jump into something because you have in mind the final illustrations. You have steps to go through before you can get your sketch to the point where it is considered the right illustration. All right? Anybody, any question? Here I am. Let me know. Tell me. Now, if you see different colors, because I have two cameras that are not the same... Uh, uh, they are not the same, you know. The the camera that is in HD, I moved it. Uh, the second one, the, as you know, I moved it here. You see, you see it here. That's for the top camera. Therefore, now I'm not using it. So over there, I have the the old one, <laughs> that is a little bit cheaper. Therefore, the colors are different. There you go. You see the blue, but I like more the blue here. But the, the, the real color is more the other, the other camera. Berk, so what do you write? Let's read. 
I agree with all you say, Luciano, daily prayer is a must. Exactly. Remember when you shared my sketch in your blog, okay? I was looking, wow, I was super excited and happy. You still teach with the same passion. Thank you, Berk. But you do a very good job too, I know. Cool. People can watch you live and ask questions. Yeah, but that's a, that's a good thing, you know, because I think that uh, what is very important is sharing, you know, basically... This is all the th all my life uh, close to students has been sharing. You know, I remember when I start teaching the first time in Art Center Europe. It was 1992 September, and uh, since then uh, I f I thought I was not good to do that. I tried because uh, uh, the school w really wanted me to try. So I did it, and then I uh, was a first love at first sight, you know, with the students and with everybody. A lot of people that are important design managers today, they are, uh, they are colleagues, friends, uh, and most of all, ex-students of mine. And, and that was beautiful. And since then, I realized that the sharing, there are two things. Is the sharing, I, I went through that, don't worry, I, I tell you what happened to me. So that uh, you can, uh, you know, you can learn from that and don't make the same mistakes. And then there are, there are the, the teaching, you know, the teaching of uh, certain skills and how to improve those skills. Real, so how about skills like 3D modeling and digital rendering? Do you practice all of them in one day? Then we have Sebastian. Ciao, Sebastian. What's the most important, hand sketch, Photoshop, or digital model building? Okay, I answer to the question from Real and Sebastian together. First of all, I don't do 3D, okay, modeling. I don't do it because at my time, the designers were learning at the beginning of the 3D modeling. Then I went into the design management and therefore I found myself always in teams where we had our digital modeler like today today i have several projects in uh, in renault and i have two models ongoing <laughs> in digital and i have two fantastic uh, digital design modelers that are helping me and we work together very very well but the good thing about digital modeling is that i always have been very curious to understand how it works i mean how is the technique uh, on alias even if you give me you know, the mouse in my hand, I, I, I don't know how to move the CV and stuff. But if I see you doing it, I can tell you, move here, move there, use that, uh, I don't know, that common. And use the, let's try a different way to make that shape. Let's make that surface in a different way using uh, a B-rail, you know, all that stuff. I learned about that. And today... I know how to help the design modeler in modeling, sometimes a little bit faster, areas of that uh, shape to make sure that uh, the design is well uh, represented in virtual modeling. So that's about that. Now about sketching. First of all, you have to know that in every design studio, handmade sketches are the first thing okay so that's the first thing patrios custom ciao can you the strongest book which is so important for a design student you are a book i am a vehicle design student i'm learning everything myself with without well patrick if you want you can you can buy my ebook all the people that follow me online have the rights to have 50 percent discount it's sent to you via email it's a pdf and you learn how to sketch cards with my ebook. A lot of people bought it. So if somebody is here and already got it and you want to say whether you like it or not, it's a seven euros only. So only seven euros if you want. And if you are interested, just send it to me an email to my private email and we will move from, from there. It's uh, you pay via PayPal, okay? That's how it is. Or if you want, you can make a donation here with super sticker or super chat of, uh, and send me your email, okay, for seven years. By the way, if you want to offer me a coffee, now it's the moment. Super sticker, super chats, okay? All right. 
Okay, so Patriots, I, th I think I answered to you. And uh, otherwise, there are other books, of course, okay? Otherwise, otherwise uh, but, but anyway, I write to you my email. Also, if someone else wants to use this opportunity, write to me. Okay, I'm writing the email so that you can uh, send it to me. There you go. This is my email. Send to me an email and we'll move from your email. I'll come, like, like this, I, I have your email address and I can send you back uh, via email the PDF format, okay? Let's go back to the sketching. So, freehand sketches, it's number one thing. All the people, all the people work the beginning of every brainstorming stage, step, freehand sketches. Then there are a part of uh, young designers or any designer that prefer to move on, scan and move on digital, okay, with Photoshop, Procreate, whatever, and that's okay, all right, no problem. Or others will, there are less today, I have to tell you the truth, but we still have at work markers, paper, chalk, spray fixative, stuff like that, you know, the way I make my demos. So what you can do, you, there are some people that still make few quick marker sketches, okay? And after that, they go, oh, Bert, thank you very much. <laughs> That's a lot. That's more than a coffee. There are two coffees. Grazie, <laughs> Bert. Thank you very much. Let's say thanks to Bert that just made a beautiful coffee, double coffee in France. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Fantastic. And uh, so basically, uh, they scan those uh, sketches and after they move to digital. Another way is they take a screenshot from the digital model, maybe that they are doing, okay? Even just the wireframe, they transfer that on Photoshop and then out of that they do beautiful sketches, color sketches, sometimes, uh, sometimes even to a real rendering stage. And therefore they can make uh, lots of variations and stuff like that. So, you know, <laughs> yes, I hope so too, Bert. Let me know when you come, happen to come in Paris, you know, I am here. We will go and drink together. We're going to eat. We're going to have a dinner together. Okay. I think that one of these times, if you want, you can, uh, we can make a video uh, interview, sort of uh, something like that, to, to talk about experiences as a designer here on, during my design talk, the same way I did it with uh, uh, before, like, like, one, like a couple months ago, I had my first interview. So if you want, with, uh, we, can do, we could do the same thing, okay? I have in mind to do something like that. It's not the objective, okay, of this channel, but why not uh, once in a while, you know, to have a nice chat in front of all those beautiful, fantastic guys and girls that are following, okay? We're gonna do it, we're gonna organize it. Did you learn technical perspective in Art Center? Yes, Sebastian, that's what I, I, was, I just talked about. To spend time learning those difficult technical stuff, just like those uh, cutaway artists. Uh, Sebastian, yes, in our center, as I said, if you were not with us since the beginning, w once you rewind this uh, video, you can see that I talked about that basically in the beginning of my, of my live uh, today. Okay. All right. So thank you very much again for, uh, for this beautiful coffee. All right. Yeah, we'll organize something. We will do it. I promise. I promise. I, what I would like to do is also to interview the new head of uh, transportation design department at the IAAD school in Torino because um, there is a new one that I know very well. Okay. And I think that for you guys it would be very, very nice to have an interview with this guy that will tell us how he would like to organize, how he's organizing this department, what is important for him and stuff like that. We already had that chat 
several times uh, in August because that's when uh, they told him uh, he, he was going to become the new chair of transportation design department. So we had a, a little exchange on uh, at least how I did it uh, some many years ago. But on the most important things to, to consider, and of course, how to take all that, you know, to today, you know, for tomorrow, because things change. And then they, you have to adapt certain things to a world that is changing for the better. We have new technology, technologies, therefore we have to consider that and make sure that uh, all the students that come out of school, they have uh, their skills at, very, at a very high level. Okay, so, all right, so any other question? I am here. Because if not, I can uh, also, I, I can also, you know, stop this uh, design talk live for today. I know that Vedant is waiting for me. I have a meeting with him in 20 minutes. So, any anybody anybody but anyway what you understood that the most important thing out of what we said today is exercise 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 okay even when you feel that you are not getting the, the right results don't worry keep on doing it because those results we will, will come that's for sure and then it's also about your talent you know that's something i don't know because I don't know all of you, but if you if you have talent, this e continuous exercise and the passion you have will uh, will boost you really well. Mamudi, is it true that car design is an international job? But doesn't matter where you come from. Yes, yes, this is true. You have to know, Mamudi, that in uh, our remote design uh, studios, because we are several studios. Uh, we have almost 40 countries represented, which means there are 40, uh, uh, more than 40 designers from 40 different countries. You welcome uh, Sebastian Real. Okay. Thank you, Real. Thank you. Real, we're going to meet tomorrow. So let me check what time I'm checking. So tomorrow, okay. Tomorrow we will... Uh, we will be there when it's gonna be about 5 p.m. in your country or 4 p.m. in your country. All right. So for me, it's gonna be the morning, 11, 11 o'clock in the morning. Jake, what is more important, the idea or the concept of sketching ability? No, Jake, you have to understand it. What is really important is the combinations of the two. So first, you must have the skills ability because if you don't have it how can you explain your how can you visualize your concept and then of course we need your concept which means really good creativity because if you have only good skills but you don't have concept then you are considered to be an illustrator and that's not good into a car design or an industrial design world because we don't need illustrators we need designers all right designers so to answer to your question it's the combination of both the skills and therefore your creativity okay uh jake i i hope that i answer to your uh, to your uh, question. Sorab, sorry for my comment. Wait, I don't remember which is your comment. Let me go and check it out. Ah, because you are negative about... Uh, <laughs> okay, but, uh, you know, sir, the 3D skills are very important. On this, you're right. But the 3D skills is a slightly different type of job that any design student can do. So let's suppose that you are a design student that did not find a real designer job or a car designer job. This can happen because you have to know that our world is very selective, 
very selective and there is a very high competition and that's a fact but if you want to still have a chance to work into the design world if you want to work on alias blender reno you know, all those things then you can propose yourself as a design modeler virtual design modeler and that thing is gonna work because there is always a big demand for that there's a big request any agency that has a the alias modelers is always looking for new good ones faster ones you know and those that come from design schools are the best ones because they have a feeling for design therefore also for us designers when we have a design modeler virtual design model with us that comes from a design school if i make a sketch that guy is un is understanding me very well very easily very fast because he was initiated to design because he comes from design school versus those that just made the alias autodesk course okay and they are more like technical people that know how to make a three-dimensional virtual model you see there's a big difference between the two so what i'm i want to tell you is that to say that there are not too many jobs in car design it is true and many times i said it this you know people that follow me people that follow me they know i always say it don't forget that before you get into at car design school before you get into this business before you make all your efforts you have to know that we are a small family internationally that's how it is and there are not many jobs available because there are not new companies making car design every year it doesn't happen that way our the car design family you know in a in a horizontal way it's very restricted worldwide but there are several other new jobs that thanks to the technologies and the design process change that are uh, born and therefore you can have a better chance to get into that car design environment or industrial design environment i would say a little bit sideways you know not straight into the design creativity uh, team but sideways those that uh, help the creative team in realizing modeling models virtual stuff renderings v-red stuff film virtual films and all that stuff okay i hope that uh Sorab, i i hope that i answered to your question in a better way okay all right so this is it you know i think that uh i said it all for today real i hope that you are happy about uh <laughs> the design talk of today and thank you again for suggesting the topic i also gave you a few other things i thank uh, berg kaplan very much for the double coffee offer no that's a very nice beer well, you offer it's a really cool nice brewed beer to drink really kind of cold after a nice uh, lunch or a barbecue all right so thank you very much i really appreciate i appreciate also the comments everybody's comments okay and uh, therefore i give you uh appointment for next week tuesday don't forget we're gonna complete we're gonna finish this time part two of procreate digital color sketch we're gonna make it all right ciao patriot ciao to everybody if you want to offer a coffee you can still do it now okay you have a few minutes still ciao anish and uh vedant if you are listening uh, watching in uh 10 in 15 minutes will be connected next lifetime according to your country patriot it's always at this time at five so one hour ago always at this time every tuesday every friday okay 
So you will find Tuesday sketching, Friday design talk. All right. All right. Bye bye. One, two, three. Ciao.